What is going on? This is Sam. In today's video, I am going to be showing you guys how to get an almost complete iOS 7.1 theme on iOS 7.0 through iOS 7.0.6. Now, of course, to do this, you will need to be jailbroken. If you aren't jailbroken already and are on iOS 7.0.6, I will show you how to jailbreak with a link down in the description below. But anyway, watch that if you haven't jailbroken already. Now getting started with the heart, the main part of this iOS 7.1 theme are the few changed icons. If you weren't aware, the FaceTime, phone, and then messages icons did get a bit darker at the bottom. And there is a theme in the My My Ivory book for free. Just search for iOS 7.1 icons. And then once you have downloaded it from there, you of course enable it from Winterboard, a standalone Cydia application that you can find on your home screen. Make sure you have it downloaded as well. It should actually download Winterboard if you haven't already installed it after downloading the iOS 7.1 icons theme, but in case it doesn't, just search for Winterboard. Download that, then go to the application, enable the three icons that says iOS 7.1 in front of it for the iPhone. And after a very quick respring, you've done it. You have successfully made your iOS 7.0 through 7.0.6 home screen look just like iOS 7.1. Next up, we are taking a look at how to get all the great new improvements of the iOS 7.1 calendar app. You do this by adding Ryan Petrich's beta repo, which will be linked down in the description below, along with all the other tweaks and themes I've covered, where to get them, how much they cost, and all that good stuff. But anyway, that is besides the point. Once you have added his source to your Cydia application, head over to your search section and search for Gregorian. It is an iOS 7.1 calendar that has been awesomely ported over to iOS 7.0 through iOS 7.0.6, and it works literally just like it does on iOS 7.1. The icons, the functionality, there's no lag or slowness or anything like that. Following Gregorian, one of the biggest new features that I was really looking forward to in iOS 7.1, but I couldn't get on my jailbroken device, well, until now, was the great new animations. They were so fast, so fluid, and I was like, I really don't want to be stuck on iOS 7.0.4, or iOS 7.0.6, I should say, with these slow animations. Just using an iOS 7.1 device and then using something on a lesser firmware just felt it completely foreign and old, and it just wasn't fluid until I came across a jailbreak tweak called No Slow Animations. This tweak allows you to set your animation speed, that is opening, closing apps, just using your device all around to be faster. So for example, in the No Slow animation settings, I found the perfect speed to make your device, at least animation-wise, feel just like iOS 7.1, and I found that to be 0.75 which you can adjust using the slider. 0.80 also works, but 0.5, at least for me, feels really, really close to iOS 7.1 itself. Next up, we have a couple smaller tweaks that make your device look like iOS 7.1. The first being Calm Call by Insane J. This allows you to make your in-call status bar look like Apple changed it to be on iOS 7.1. As you can see on the left, this is without Calm Call installed. It's blinding, it's green, it's white. I could talk about it for hours on how I don't like it, how it looks awful, but I'm not going to. Short story, it basically makes it look like iOS 7.1 with Calm Call installed, and I have to say it does look very nice. Next up, we have Gestures Plus. This allows us to get the iOS 7.1 pinch to close animation on iOS 7.0.6 and of course other versions of iOS 7 if you're jailbroken on them. Just to demonstrate this, it's easiest to demonstrate on the iPad. You can also see this new animation if you have OXO 2 installed on your iPhone or iPod Touch. But anyway, as you can see on the iPad, when we pinch to close with our four finger gesture, this does make our device look just like iOS 7.1's close to pinch. Instead of the icons kind of floating behind the page, it looks weird. This method is definitely best if you want the full iOS 7.1 experience. Next up is button for phone, which transforms the rectangular default call button on iOS 7 into the new circular call button found on iOS 7.1. Once again, a very small tweak, but I think it does add to the iOS 7.1 theme. And finally, rounding up this video, we have probably my favorite tweak that I've talked about so far. It is called Better Power Down, and it allows you to get the new looking iOS 7.1 power down screen on iOS 7.0.6. As you can see on the screen right now, it looks just like it does on iOS 7.1. I've got my actual 7.1 device on the left, my iPod, and my 7.0.6 jailbroken device on the right, my iPhone 5S, and you could not tell a difference. If you handed this to an ordinary person, they were familiar with that new iOS 7.1 slide to power off screen, they would say hands down, yeah, this device is on 7.1. 
just from that very unique part. So guys, this is the almost complete iOS 7.1 theme. Now, one last thing I would like to mention before I end this video is that if for whatever reason, you've done everything that I've done, you've got all the tweaks, all the themes, everything that I covered in this video, but there's one small thing that I showed that you can't make your device look just like mine. Make sure you check the blog post down in the description below. I'll have tons of information, pretty much everything I covered in this video. However, I will also have a screenshot of each individual tweaks preference panel if it does have one to offer, just so you can make your iOS 7 device look just like iOS 7.1, just like I did here on my iPhone 5S, because I know how frustrating it is if there's just one little setting that you cannot figure out how to do. So that's why I would recommend checking out the blog post down in the description below if you are having any problems with that. If any more really cool stuff comes out to enable more cool iOS 7.1 features, I'll be sure to make a part two or even just an individual iOS 7.1 tweak video. So make sure you are subscribed for that in case you haven't already. But if you did enjoy watching this video, as always, feel free to click the like button down below. It lets me know that I'm doing a good job in making my videos. And as always, thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you did enjoy it and I will see you guys in the next one.